It's the final season. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you a little bit of Buffy the Vampire mm -hmm. Slayer season seven, episode one. Lessons. Oh, shoot. Hey, less, there's less lessons of us on the couch. Lessons. lessons. Yes. Mickey is, uh, as you know, taking a break from reactions. Mm -hmm. Spidey is on vacation. Rana is on her honeymoon. Mm hmm. And you're stuck with us for the rest of this show. For the rest of the lessons. For the rest of this channel. For the rest of forever! Yeah. Uh, last time on Buffinder, Xander made a save. Oh, yes, and did. did we mention how Nicholas Brendan was kind of going through stuff in real life? No. Uh, no, was that right when he got those convictions and stuff? Yeah, well, cool. like, just in general, I think he'd been going in and out of rehab and suffering through addiction. And mm. post-Buffy, he had a rough life, so... I don't know if we mentioned it in that discussion, but it is um, interesting, maybe poetic that they had him deliver that speech to Willow to talk yeah. her down, maybe in a way to like almost have, you know, Nicholas Brendan have that motivation in real life as well. Or I don't know if it was just irony. Yeah. But, yeah well, it was a good point. Uh, I do like that. It was uh, finally Xander getting the save and also like not with superpowers, but with just, you know, talking mm -hmm. your own. And I, I, here's the, I, the thing I keep playing back in my head is that Giles comes back and he's like, oh, you silly girl, I'm dying. And then like 30 minutes later, he's like, ah, no, turns out I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought it was, it was just gas. Was it just? <laughs> I think it's because like the world was going to, I don't know. Like, Willow died and his, his spell on him. Something, I don't know, it's magic. Off. Okay. But yeah, what will this season entail? Spike! I, uh, Spike finally has a soul. Wah, wah. What does it mean? I about that. <laughs> I, I what? When we were watching it, we were like, Jesus Christ, who cares? Yeah, because I, I, I was hoping Villa will still be the big back for this season, but you know. Yeah, but Why I think Spike with that? a soul will, will give a... Because she's a baddie. I think, I think we'll have some good TV here, because he might revert back to whoever he was. Whoever he was, we're going to meet a whole new person, essentially. William the Soth. Will, William. <laughs> and then, uh, who knows, maybe Drusilla will come back and be like, Oh, so spot. she's still alive? Is she? You guys told me. She's still alive. Wah, wah, no, I know. Drusilla, Drusilla's still, still alive. alive. Is yeah, she? she? She came back in Buffy after after Angel. But I don't know what's going on in Angel right now. She could be back in dead. I'll tell you what no, happened no. in Angel. Connor. Oh, Angel's son. Came back from mm. the hell dimension. Korath. And now he's older. And he's the second guy from Mad Men who fucks... Uh, Peggy, the secretary, that guy. Oh, with the with the fucking comb over, yes, he's, fucking he's, comb over boy. He's a teen. Boy he's a teen. An angel. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch that now because I was a Pete. Pete. Uh, Pete. Yeah, his name was Pete, right? Yeah, yeah. Pete. Come over, boy. Come over, boy. Come over, boy. You guys know who I'm talking about. And yeah, and he he impregnated Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. But then she keeps it secret, and then she has it, and then he never tells us because as we've been reading in our Playboys over on the uh, Talking Normies podcast, a lot of Playboy questionnaires back in the day, like in the sixties, are just like, I got two women pregnant, and I hate them both. What do I do next? It's like you hit them both. Got them. He hate them both. Oh, I thought you say he hit them both. He I probably like, does. Talking Normies podcast, everybody, every Friday <laughs> oh morning, Twitch.tv slash Normies yeah. TV. And Angel's on there, too, it every is. other Tuesday, usually. But no, we know the drill. Every, every, every Thursday. Um, we know the drill, and Marquetta knows the drill. It's going to be tough for her to schedule. We are going to stay two episodes ahead of Angel this season. Except Don't for worry. once we reach 721. I got the scoop. Mm. Yeah, she got I the scoop. I asked scoops. around. The scoop. I had my ways. Straight two ice creams. Well... Not a market substitute. <laughs> support the OG content. Feel free to support the normies over on Patreon, where you can watch ahead, you can participate in polls, and you can also get uncuts. Uh, we had I... a long week of celebration. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, it is recording. Remember that? Let's go. Let's go. Check if it's this recording. Okay. Oh my god. Now, yeah, yeah. How long can you do this? Check it four more times, please. Um, Hit play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Arabic, yeah. Istanbul. Yeah. Not Constantinople. It's Istanbul. Constantinople. <laughs> that was so not Istanbul, okay, by the way. Oh, uh, damn. Rana's missing this episode with like Arabic shit. Yeah. I'll, I'll... It's Turkish, not Arabic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And I, I wore, am here, the <laughs> person who lived there. I wore a Turkish suit at Rana's wedding, it all makes sense. Running from ninjas? 
ninjas? Turkish ninjas? Ah! If you're being chased by ninjas, you're fucked. Oh! Yep, they just went around. Damn ninjas. Oh! He what is happening? Oh! Oh, she's dead. I'm back to the long hair. Oh. Get him done. But he's new. He he might not know all those fancy martial arts skills they inevitably seem to pick up. Right? Who's got the power? I got the power! It doesn't matter how well prepped you are or how well armed you are. You're a little girl, woman, little woman. I'm taller than you. She's a vampire, okay? Demon, naturally strong, skilled with powers no human could possibly ever. Excuse me. I think I'm stuck. I don't even know how I got down there. If you girls could just give me a hand. It's just it's so dark and it's, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I feel bad for these vamps. Oh. The one that played for comic Ooh. relief. Thanks. That was the help. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, it was the last thing you'll ever do. You want blood? You can have hers. Okay. He's going to use it. You won't have it, so... Poke him with that stick, girl! Huh? There we go. You missed. Did oh. it have to be the heart? Yeah. I'm gonna let him bite you so you know what it feels like. That was close. Yeah, you almost let it happen, girl. The whoosh sound. Ooh. Steak? Oh, sword. Even better. I feel like cutting someone's head off is probably easier than poking them in the heart. Right? You gotta have pinpoint accuracy with that shit. I know. What will be the final big Someone bad of Buffy? What is back? We have just a few more days till it starts and... College? And we'll never know what's coming next. Adult. It is my great pleasure and privilege to announce the official opening... In high school? On the very ground... Hey! I know him! He, he's in that Lucifer! And 24. Sunnydale High! Nice. Oh, you didn't watch this. I, 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 I did, but I'm very excited for you. Hey! What show is this? We're in the hills of Justashire. Uh, West Westbury. 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 It's East just west of Eastbury. And just south of Northbury. Oh, north of Southbury. <laughs> <laughs> Southeast of Middlebury. All right, we're done. <laughs> hey, she came back. Ah, she's living on the farm away from civilization. Wait, Raphael. D.B. Woodside, that's his name. Coven is, is the most amazing woman I've ever met. This look that they get. They're looking cautious. I don't have that much power, I don't think. Ma'am, <laughs> you flayed a man with your mind. When you brought me here, I thought it was to kill me. Instead, you go all Dumbledore on Oh, <laughs> they did Harry Potter? Nice. Well, they were books. Do you want to be punished? I'm gonna be Willow. Damn. Aww. Morning. Well, you gotta eat something. I made cereal. Look at suited and booted Xander. Mm -hmm. I've got two crews working on this diabolical yet lucrative new campus. There are no pentagrams, no <laughs> And right exactly where the library was, we now have principal's office. Well, the last two principals were eaten. Who'd even apply to that job? <laughs> Guess we'll see. Uh oh. Check it's a good job to have, Xander. Good job, man. Back to school gift. Shit, I never got a back to school gift. Pencils and notebooks, bro. That was our gift. Yes. <laughs> Study hard. And I'll buy you more next year. What kind of weapon was Stay it? Stay away from hyena people or uh, any lizardy type athletes, you know, or if you see anyone that's invisible. Well, yeah, the invisible, invisible people. We're back to Sunnydale, baby. I like this. Places are evil. It's tough to let them go, huh? <laughs> I like him. Bye. You seem a bit young to have such a grown up daughter. Quit mind your business. I actually have heard of you, Miss Summers. You graduated from the old high school, am I right? Saved everybody a few times. I gotta start deadening young mind. It's really nice to meet you. He knows you things. Mm -mm -mm. He's the suspicious. new Snyder. That was suspicious. Mm. You betcha. Bye. Bye. You just wander around the school back in the day. Mm. Nobody asked no questions. I couldn't even like skip high school to go to like my friends' high schools without their teachers questioning who I was. Y y yes. What the fuck? What? You just went to other schools and pretended to be there? <laughs> you don't even go here! Uh-oh. <clears throat> hey, you! Kid hey, with the ball! Hey, Xander 2.0. This is, is this season going to be like the passing of the torch seasons, like Don's high school crew? Oh! 
the basement where the 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 the, the old Hellmouth entrance was. I don't know the, the Soviet guy, team? the Soviet Union guy. Yeah, the Soviet <laughs> swim team. <laughs> I'm Mr. Lundgren. The Go Fish Why episode. Why go around the room and introduce ourselves? Fake Kevin Spacey. How do I reach these kids? So you're just like a grown woman wandering around this school and no one stopped you. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. You can't protect her. You couldn't protect me. What the fuck are you? Excuse me. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh. What the heck, bro? I mean, it's probably fucking haunted. So many people die. Yeah. Uh, favorite activities include not ever having to do this again. And, uh... Dawn! Oh, oh my God. God. We have to go. It's not safe. We, um... I mean, I... Oh, no. Why are you embarrassing her, bro? I help you. Bye. I'll be around. I'm Mrs. Short Frown. I know I've always been a little competitive with you. I mean... There was that thing in the Crimean War. <laughs> what? what was that thing? The single most dolphin, the lower beans. They're all feeling the heat. Something older than the old ones. Uh oh. That. Well, what is this? An intervention? Shouldn't all my demon friends be here? Sweetie, they are. Ugh. Oh. Why are they a bunch of mean girls? Oh no, Anya. So school's back in session, huh? Seems like old times. Can you stand here and look at this thing for me? Thanks. <laughs> These are ghosts. <laughs> I'm not sure. They were in the mirror, but they disappeared. They talked about protecting people. Told me to leave. No damage, though. Oh, I have a theory already. It's my Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island theory. The zombies are, are telling Buffy to go away because she brings the doom. They're protecting the school. Can I borrow a pencil? No, and fuck you, and you better not take it, and bring your own. You're in school. Oh, Lord! Damn, she hit her fucking face. There was a bee flew in my eye. I think it's gone. I mean, how do you not flinch? He Can took a pencil that? and stabbed your eye. I mean, your sister did come in there and wig out. Like, like, they're all crazy. No, you went to the wrong bathroom. Don't shit in here. Moaning mortal. Oh, oh my wow. god. Harry you did, Potter? You did get Harry Potter reference earlier, too. Yeah. Go back to class, dude. That's one time I got detention for falling asleep on the toilet. Are she real? There's someone in here. <gasps> she sees him too. I have to be honest, I actually know a little bit more about you than I let on before. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Oh, it really is. Mm. Let's get you out of here, okay? Maybe we what do these two scenes have to do with each other? Was there a pencil involved in any of... Oh! Oh! What the oh, hell? Yeah. What? Xander, the foundation was crumbling, dog. No, nah, man. They used their ghost powers to get it. Just breathe. I felt the earth. She can feel what's happening. Is anything else? I saw the earth, Giles. I saw its teeth. It's going to open. Back at it again with a yeah, mouth. Yeah, please. All right, dynamic camera work. We should go back to the Hellmouth. I mean, that's where it all began. Yeah. Gan, gan, gan. She said she died here and that everybody dies here and that we would too. Here, I was worried about not fitting in. God. Oh, this guy. The basketball kid. It was a janitor. He was yelling at me. I thought it was just piss, but I ran away like a girl. Oh. What are you guys, the new Scooby Squad? Hey. <laughs> Told you, man, they're doing it. That's new Xander. New Willow. It's not real. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much you scream. Nobody ever hears you. Hear me! Right! Oh! I got a present! What is it? A what? Well, clear yourself. Boy, that's loud. And that's part of why we don't allow cell phones. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah. I'm not leaving my cell phone in the car. Uh, sorry, my dog. A dog. Walker. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this reception amazing? I'm in the freaking basement. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, no, no, of course. And good luck with that dog tragedy. Bro, get weird adults out of your school, oh, dog. Who are you as the principal? Where did they go? Oh, oh Jesus. God. You're always too late, aren't you? Sure as hell didn't see me. Did they die during the battle against uh, the mayor? Where's my Maybe. sister? Busy making out with your dead boyfriend while it was ripped to death by a werewolf? Oh! I don't care how you died. 
I'm sorry for your loss, but where is my... You should. You need to make amends with these people. This place is ours now. It was built on our graves. I'm thinking all you want is to get between me and that door. Oh. Oh, oh nice. Samoan drop. The first you don't succeed. Ooh, nice. Popping over. Don't you Spike. Whoa. Uh, he looks like a sink. He looks so different. <laughs> All of them rolled into one. <laughs> it's gonna be me. <laughs> you... He looks so different. Puffy. <laughs> duck. What? No, like duck, duck. There's a duck. Holy duck. shit. Ow. Oh my god. Busy. What? Spike's a big bat this season. Oh! 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 Uh, Three. Oh Came down here with some kids. Don't you think I'm trying? I dumped my board in the water and the charcoal ran. Oh, what happened? Sure you came. What did you do? I, I tried to cut it out. Oh my God! Come on. Manifest spirits controlled by talisman, ready to seek vengeance. Ah. Oh. What's in the walls? Basilisk? Go back to you. Why are you here, Spike? I think he's tormented by all the things he done. Guys? Resentful dead guys? Alright, well, who's raising the talisman in? None of his spirits. Raised up. Controlled by a... Oh, it just clicked for her. The one she found in the bathroom. Do you think they're gonna come back? Think they're gonna come back? Never left. Is it just y'all three? Like Why do you think we picked you? The ones no one will miss. What? The ones that don't belong. Oh, God, the nice. knees. Oh, that uppercut. The other dudes need to fight too. Yep. Yeah. Contracty goodness. <laughs> you can thank your sister for this. Nice. 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 God, that brick bag is dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Fart. It's like a cow. Keep getting back up. Yes. Come on. Break it in half. <laughs> These two have no idea what's going on. You really weren't kidding about this place. I guess it hasn't changed. No. Seems smaller. That's because you've yeah, grown. Be okay. well, the school's intense, but you'll do all right as long as you're careful. And uh, you might want to think about sticking together. We're a team now. You are the coolest mom ever. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Um, it's the hair, right? Buffy. It's the mom hair. I know you were probably more than happy to get out of this place. But I gotta tell you, Miss Summers, I think you belong here. Oh, she's gonna be I'm the here? teacher. Listen, I know this school mm, reputation. Maybe what she does need a job. Based on seniority, we got a lot of troubled students here, and just enough money to keep this place. What? Oh, well, we have a guidance counselor, but I was thinking the kids could use someone, you know, closer to their age, who still I'm has in. some. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Look at that. It's not even noon, and I've already bullied my first family member now. <laughs> I'm gonna be the best principal ever. <laughs> Why are you down here, Spike? Oh God, she won't understand. He said it's just the three of us down here. Of course she won't understand, Sparky. I'll be on. Oh, you bitch. Why are you here? More than flesh. More than blood. You know, I honestly don't think there's a human word fabulous Hey, now she's gonna come back. For real. I don't think it's glory, glory. But like, who is this then? That's all right, though. I can be patient. Adam! Everything is well within- What's going on? So what do you think? You get your soul back? Hey! hey, hey, hey. Well, Best no. of villains. Well, you probably thought that you'd be your own man. And I respect that. But you never oh, will. Trusilla. You like our little songs, don't you? You've always liked them. Right from the beginning. And that's where we're going. Right back to the <laughs> That is a fucking master! The true. What's happening? Who's before the master? Yeah, who's yeah. the next few months are going to be quite That's the guy. That's probably who the big bad is. The first ever demon. Look at you. Look at you. Not about right. Not about wrong. Who this? 
Bape. It's about power. Hmm. <laughs> Spike going through it. <laughs> Who's the OG Big Bad thing? Uh, the original Slayer. The original Slayer? Why would the original Slayer be bad? Oh, that would be cool. I don't know. Maybe they're wreaking. Because, I mean, the original Slayer would have been brought around to slay demons, so there was demons <coughs> before Well, the Slayer. demons were actually good, and the Slayer was being bad, and then slayed all the demons, and now the demons seek revenge as the Slayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think Spike lost his mind. No, he said it's only the three of us down here. I don't that know. was cool, seeing all the villains of each season. We yeah. had... Uh, what's his stupid ass name? Warren. 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 Warren, Glory... Adam, the mayor, mayor Drusilla, McGee's. and like, because Drusilla and Spike season two, they literally did get every big bad from every major every season. That's, that's mm-hmm. pretty, hats off to you. And the master still looked like he drank like a bunch of like fruit punch, like yeah. had that fruit fruit punch mouth. Oh, uh, what about the anointed one? He's too grown up to go back. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think Willow said that there was something coming and she could feel it in the earth and it was old. And so some old evil, mm-hmm. the OG evil, the one, the first one. <laughs> The one who remains. Uh, it uh, might have something to do with Wolf the finale of the last season where where mm, Willow was calling right? to that entity. Yeah. But I just felt like other ghost shit. Wolfram and Hart's also looking for the true evil, evil, evil. No, but like Wolfram and Hart has been here for so, so long. long that, like, and they uh, are like the source of like all evil. And they're also in different evil. dimensions and stuff. So like they Ooh. have their Wolfram and Hart every single. Who? Wolfram and Hart. Hart. She says it Wolfram and Hart. Hart. Sorry. You see, an angel, angel. Wolfram and Hart, is, is a basically law a law agency, but they basically represent <laughs> true evil. And one time, one time Angel went down. <laughs> one time Angel met up with one of the bosses of Wolfram and Hart, and he took him in an elevator that went like down several, several leagues. He's like, I'm going to take oh you to God. the head offices of Wolfram and Hart. And then when the elevator finally reached the bottom, it ended up being where they got into the elevator from because he was like, it's Earth. Like, we've always been here. Ever since the first caveman smashed someone else with a rock, we were there, like, in a different form. But now they're in the form of a law office firm. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe Wolfram and Hart will have something to do with this. Maybe they were the That'd people cool. who sold rocks to cavemen. And what the fuck do they do? They Wolfram and Hart. That's a good question, Kitty. <gasps> they're what? evil. <laughs> they're, they're just evil? Evil. I can appreciate a mystery. I can appreciate Spike being, I, I guess we're back to high school. Or, I don't know why he's in the high school, like, we'll find why is he out. there? I don't know. She wasn't like, what the fuck? Why are you in the basement, That dude? seemed really random. Like, I don't know. Just like, we're just going to have him there. He the needs basement. to be brought back into the story, and I guess this is how, I guess. I guess. I guess. I, I think Spike is just trying to not be around people. Like he, so he went to the thing where people live brown recluse. Him. I think he's going a little insane because he yeah. is yeah. back to whoever he was as a human, but mm-hmm. that human being flooded with all the things that Spike did. And yeah. so he's like, I don't deserve to be alive. Mm-hmm. He he was repeating something along lines here of like, I was going to say this speech or whatever. Wasn't he like writing something down to... Yeah. Hal Freck, I guess, at the time, like he was a love, love sick type of like poetic boy, a sad love puppy with a six pack. Yeah, I don't know. It just his hair looks different too. No, yeah. he got that uh, ramen, ramen noodles. Yeah. yeah, it is the Justin Timberlake ramen, <laughs> ramen noodle hair. She, I think it's also a good start. I like that Willow's out with um, mm. out in uh, Westbury, learning about the coven. <laughs> Westbury, just. Just shut up and, no Westbury. just central of no, middle bears shut up <laughs> god damn it what it's a great bit we came up with it on I the thought fly thought it was pretty good that was really, we didn't practice that <laughs> um but yeah, yeah she's like really rehabilitating yeah. far away from civilization and like getting used to like actually being a part of like using magic and understanding its limits and its bounds she was called a rank amygdala. And actually getting training, because previously, I mean, I don't think um, um, uh, Giles. Giles gave her much guidance. He was just like, don't do magic, get bad. <laughs> the uh, a villain is only ever as good as they're built up to be. And I do like this build up. I like how Willow is saying, like, 
It's all spiritual. It's all connected, like some Cora vines type of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then she's like, there's something like deep, like, like this blackness, like coming for like this old, old power. And so like I, for the final oh. season of this show, it's good that episode one right out of the gates is, is already like hinting at this mm -hmm. super fucking villain Mystery. that we're going to see. Which I'm excited to see what it is. I hope I don't TMI. I don't think evil Kenny? exists. Like in nature, we right? will exist within yeah. all of our hearts. Okay, so we tap into it if we choose yeah. to. But most of us stray to the light. We are so, nature. Yeah, I don't think evil exists in nature. We are. Uh, in nature. That's fine. And uh, blood so and, I guess blood and cheese. Chris. Uh, if at the blood end of the cheese. day they're like, you know, like there's this great evil that's always been here in nature, and we have to smote it or some shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, I hope it's something differenter than that. It's like Vatu. Like, it's like, we don't, I, come on. You don't like the representation of all evil? That's why you hated Lost. It is. I think the representation <laughs> of all evil is a silly notion. I think it's a silly fucking notion in general. I don't think that a fucking tornado is evil. I just think that it no, exists. It's not. You know? I mean, it, it does evil things. It doesn't do evil things. It's not. And it destroys houses. Isn't That's that not, not evil? A, the tornado's not evil. You think the tornado's like, ha <laughs> ha Take that! No, I think the tornado does what it does. But what, it the aftermath matter. of it's like you know, it's bad, but I, evil. What I think, is bad then? I think evil needs like a reason to be right. Like the devil is evil. He's like, I'm here to corrupt all souls. Ah, like, yeah. Well, I don't know where yeah. you brought tornado out from. I'm talking like, like, what about like freaking people? Dahmer. Like, I think people are broken, and I think they're fucked up. But like, but they chose to be evil. Like they either have a choice to be good or bad, and they chose to be good bad. I don't know. I think evil, evil, evil has, is just in has, itself. It's from a, experience. <laughs> evil is a construct, right? <laughs> evil is just a term we made up to describe something that's like so out of our imagination of why someone or something could do that. And there are people that that do that. So we're like, we wouldn't understand why. Yeah, maybe mental problems, upbringing, yeah. whatever. But like. Evil. Sociopathy, like being a sociopath, being a psychopath. Yeah. I, I think don't there's know. a lot of different. I'm just saying it's like a, a a concept, and I hope that I'm just hoping the show doesn't totally go all the way there. But then I guess if Buffy in the show is going to be a representation of like true good, then maybe she gets some polar exact opposite true evil, and they both can't exist or they have to neutralize each other's powers, like the Avatar. I just don't want it to be like even the Man in Black the, wasn't always bad. I thought the Man in Black should have been able to leave the island. You I sure think it's bullshit that, that they were like, they pissed him off. They were like, hey, dog, you're the representation of all evil. You haven't done anything yet. And they're like, but you will. And he was like, well, you know what I am now. <laughs> Fucking mad. You know, maybe that, you know, and there's something to say about that. Yeah, you know, you That's can. I'm just, that concept, I'm, I'm hoping we don't get to that. I hope we get to something slightly more interesting. I feel you. But since this show is from 2001, I don't know. Oh, I would, God. I, I would hold up, like, Whedon yeah. team to put a different spin on it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it won't always be, like, ex maybe not exactly that. Maybe that, but something something more. I like, I always like humanizing something. That's like, this thing is pure evil, and then, like, giving it some dimension. Yeah. And then it's like, well, then it's not. But then where's pure good ever at? Because the man in white is meh. Because there, there is no pure good, so there shouldn't be any pure evil. Yeah! Right? Yeah! yeah! That's essentially mm -hmm. it. Thank you. That's my thesis. Uh, that, this is my TED talk. I feel like we can believe in pure evil more easily than we can how believe in pure evil. From this episode, even in season one, Damon Lindelof had it that the island was basically a cork to, <gasps> to, to contain all essence of evil. So the hell mouth was under the island. Yes. Oh yeah, because there there is a hatch, and they Crossover. do move the donkey wheel. They do. Well, all right, y'all. We're gonna watch episode two now. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to press the button. The, the like button. They're not watching. Can I send you Thanks to our super patrons, Brian Falcon, Martin Daxfold, Anthony Hardy, Joe Mags, Todd Canuck Schmuck, Puffy, we couldn't do it without you guys, or any of our supporters, whether on Patreon or YouTube. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.